Here's the problem. The other day, I strapped my Insta360 GO 3S action camera onto a kite to get some sweet aerial shots, which actually ended up looking pretty cool right up until this moment right here. The lens took the brunt of the impact during this crash, and it got pretty scratched up. Luckily, this camera isn't ruined though, because the lenses on here are actually interchangeable. So for $20, I could order a new one to replace it. But while I was waiting around for the new one to be delivered, I decided I was going to design and build some sort of camera cage or shell to go on this to help prevent the lens from just getting scratched again in the future. And I just so happened to have everything that I need to make this camera accessory a reality with a Bamboo Labs A1 3D printer and an intermediate knowledge of how to use CAD software to design products. So I got to work. And after lots of careful measuring, experimentation with various shapes and configurations, and printing lots and lots and lots of prototypes, I now have something that is not only functional, but I think also looks kind of good at the same time. So now this camera is indestructible. And I made the 3D print file for this available on my website so that all of you guys out there who have 3D printers can make one of these for yourself. And you'll find the link for that in the description below. The digital file isn't free, but I made it as cheap as I could. It's only $3.99. So with this final version of the camera cage, it actually attaches to the front of the camera by taking the lens filter off, placing the cage onto the camera, and then screwing the lens filter back on to hold it in place. The lens hood on the front protects the glass from getting scratched if it gets dropped face down. It also has vents on the front for airflow, a hole at the bottom so that the indicator light on the camera is still visible. The cage has just enough flexibility that the front of the camera can still be pressed to start and stop a video recording, and the camera can even be snapped into the action pod or attached to any of its other accessories without the cage getting in the way. I designed this to be super slim and lightweight so that you could use it with even those really small FPV drones without it adding a lot of extra weight. If it's printed out of PLA, this weighs just 2.9 grams. And I designed two versions of this cage, so it's compatible with both the original Insta360 GO 3 and the new GO 3S. Now, if you do decide to print this, I would recommend printing it face up on your printer, just like this, with regular auto supports turned on. And I do like to reduce the support angle to five degrees. This way, when it's done printing, there will just be one single piece of support material on the inside here, that should be pretty easy to remove in just one single chunk. If you print this and it ends up saving your camera lens from getting scratched while you're filming a video, then definitely tag me in the video and leave a comment below. I would love to see how you guys are putting this to use. As always, you can watch some more of my videos over here and I'll see you in the next one.